Hi, so in the previous video, we have seen how we can use Remix ID in order to compile and deploy our smart contract, right? And now in this video, we are going to see what actually happens whenever we compile our smart contract. So let's say you have created this source.sol file. So this is your smart contract. And now you have given this smart contract to the Solity compiler. So in the previous video, as we have seen, that we were using Remix ID, right? Now behind the scene, Remix ID is actually using Solc. Solc is the Solity compiler. Okay, so remember this, that Remix ID is just an interface, but behind the scene, Remix ID is actually using Solc as a compiler. Okay, now when you give this source.sol file to this Solity compiler, it divides the file into two parts, or I will say, after compilation, it generates two parts. First one is your ABI and second one is your bytecode. Now, what is an ABI? ABI is known as application binary interface. And what is this application binary interface? This application binary interface act as a bridge between your Solity smart contract and your external world. Now, let's say if you are creating a decentralized application, okay? So in order to create your decentralized application, you are going to have a front-end technology, right? And we will talk about all this when we will talk about decentralized application in detail. So don't worry about it. But for now, just let me give you a hint about it. So in this decentralized application, you will have a front-end technology, right? Say you are using ReactJS. Now this ReactJS application wants to communicate with your Solity smart contract. Now, in order to do that, this ReactJS code, this ReactJS technology will be using ABI in order to communicate to the Solity smart contract. So let's say ReactJS printing technology wants to call some function of this smart contract that we have created, or let's say access some variables of this smart contract that we have created in this source.sol file, then we will be needing the ABI of this smart contract. And I will show you how actually this ABI looks like in some time. And another part we have is the bytecode. Now this bytecode is the code that actually get deployed on the Ethereum blockchain. So your entire source.sol file code is not getting deployed on the Ethereum blockchain, but only the bytecode of this smart contract gets deployed on the Ethereum blockchain. Now, what is this bytecode all about? This bytecode actually consists of instructions related to your smart contract. Let me show you how this ABI and bytecode looks like so that you can better understand it. So this is a very simple smart contract that you are seeing on your screen. Again, do not worry about the syntax and everything. I'm going to talk about all these things in great detail in the upcoming course. For now, let us focus on the concept part only. So. We will go to our compile section as we have discussed in the previous video. This is our compile part, right? This is our compile button. So we will go to this part. Again, if you want to switch to the latest version, just switch to the latest version. We will click on this compile button. Now see very carefully, as soon as I will click on this compile button, you will see that two files will get generated in this bottom. In this left bottom, you will see that two files will get created. So let me click on compile. So as soon as I clicked on compile, you can clearly see that we have two code generated after this compilation process. One is the ABI and second one is the bytecode. Let me show you how this ABI actually looks like. So I'm using this notepad that is available online. You can use on your computer as well. Just copy this code or it will be available in your Solity smart contract in this storage.sol. Okay, so you can directly compile this code. Once you will compile this code, you will see that you will have this ABI. Just copy it and paste it to your notepad. Now, once you will paste it to your notepad, you will see a structure, something like this. Okay, so now in this ABI, you can clearly see that what are the functions you have created in your smart contract? What are the variables that you have in your smart contract? Like for example, if you will go back, you will see that this is smart contract consists of two functions, right? As you can clearly see that function one is a store and function two is retrieve. So if you will see in the ABI of this code, you will see 
that you have this function retrieve here so name retrieve and this is the type of function so this is our function type and another function that is a store and this is also a function that you have created in your smart contract so all the information related to your smart contract about the variables about the functions are actually stored in the abi of your smart contract so that when an external technology let's say react js or any other smart contract want to call any of the functions given your in your smart contract it can directly access it using the abi of your smart contract okay and then let me show you the bytecode so i am copying this bytecode let me paste this bytecode here so this is your bytecode okay so this thing that you are seeing right this is your bytecode and this is is in this is in json format this is the key okay so this is the key and this is the value okay and another thing that you can clearly see on your screen is the op course you remember we have discussed about this concept in the ethereum gas ethereum gas limit uh, video right where we talked about that ethereum provides you with a, a list of op codes so this byte code is actually getting converted into this op codes and as we have discussed about op codes in the ethereum video that op codes are nothing but these are instructions okay so we are providing some instruction to our smart contract that okay you have to do this then do this and do this okay so these are all those instructions that we are providing so when are converting these functions we are this is a high level program this high level program is getting converted to this low level program kind of a thing you can understand like this okay so this is what actually happens whenever we compile our smart contract let's see some of the important points related to the solity compilation contract byte code is public in readable form so whenever you are deploying your smart contract byte code of your smart contract is actually getting deployed on the blockchain since it is getting deployed on the blockchain and blockchain is in public form so it is available for the people to read okay so whenever you are going to deploy your smart contract your byte code is getting getting actually deployed on the blockchain and your byte code is actually in public in readable form second thing contract doesn't have to be public so in our example when we created source.sol and when we compiled it right so this source.sol need not to be public you can keep it private it is not a necessity or it is not some rule that you need to make your contract public so that anybody can read from your smart contract okay third thing byte code is immutable now this is something which actually makes your smart contract immutable since byte code cannot be changed you cannot change your smart contract fourth as i discussed that abi act as a bridge between applications when i'm saying applications so any external technology that we are using and a smart contract so this applications can easily communicate with our smart contract and fourth abi and byte code cannot be generated without source code so as we have seen when we have given this source.sol file to the solidity compiler it generates two files abi and byte code so you cannot go reverse you cannot generate your smart contract by having your abi and byte code so it is a non reversible process kind of a thing okay so i hope you enjoyed this video meet you soon in the next video so i hope you like this video if you have liked this video please click on that like button if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel because i am regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel if you want to connect you can connect with me on instagram i am available there and if you want to join our blockchain developer community links are given in the description you can join the discord blockchain developer community you are most welcome and if you have any doubts please do not forget to comment below this video i am active here and i will definitely try to answer your query so meet you soon in the next video till then bye bye